Good evening, people. This is part two of the summer house slash bar project. Um, in the last video, I showed you about the base. Base was all set. Now um, I've got a little bit of footage of the walls going up, the roof going on, and the rubber roof once the roof's on. Right, well, right, well, see you then. So as you can see here, basically what I've done, cut two lengths of timber at the same length, the base plate and the top plate, marked them out, so we're now where the noggins are going, 400 centres, and nailed them all together um, to make the stud for the back wall. We've done the back wall first, um, and then in a minute you see we stand it up, and then we'll do the two side walls and we'll keep them all the same height. Um, then when we come to build the front wall, We'll just build that up 100 mil higher once it's built, just to get a fall on the roof. That's the back wall done there. Um, then we'll come on to do the side walls here, which are the same height as the back, like I said. Just nail it together and then stand it up. So as you can see here, we've got all three of the walls built the same height. Um, we've just got them stood up without any noggins in or nothing for now. Just getting them sort of built ready. Um, this wall's going to be the front wall. So we'll build that the same height as these. Then we'll just build it 100 mil higher after. So we'll just put two lamps of 4 by 2 on to get up to the 4 inch. Um, as you can see there, I'm just checking it's perfectly level, which it is. Um, obviously we built that top up there. Just to stud the front out, we stood the doors and the windows in as we're building it, just to make it easier, make it a nice tight fit. Um, we found that easier. Obviously we need to sit them out after to put the um, building paper around. But that's no worries. As you can see there, we started doing the roof. Um, just using four by twos again, but doubling up on them just for strength. We'll bolt them together. Um, just run them along. As well, fix through into the studs. Once them are all fixed, OSB around the outside and OSB on the roof. And then we can start looking at insulating. As you can see here, this is the OSB we fitted on the roof. Um, just staggered the joints, all screwed down. And this is the inside. All the outside's OSB. The noggins are in now, just along the centre. And um, this is all ready to be insulated now. Once it's insulated, we can then look at boarding you inside. So for the roof, we used um, a rubber roof, you just get some glue that comes with it, you lie it down flat first for about an hour just to let it settle, you roll half back, glue half, and then roll it straight back onto it so it doesn't go tacky, roll the other half back, glue that side as well, as you can see we're leaving a 100mm strip round the edge, and that gets evo sticked afterwards. Um, you just see we're there brushing all the air bubbles out just to get it nice and tight. Um, and then once it's all brushed out, you just put some trims around the edge um, to stop any water getting in and to stop um, the rubber roof blowing back up as well. Um, we found this is the best thing to put on the roof. Great product. Um, really is good.
I didn't put any videos on with it and um, fascias and soffits, but them did go on first before the rubber roof. And then once the rubber roof was fitted, the trims went on top of that. Um, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, have a look at what um, Instagram, BB Joinery, um, and keep an eye for the next video. We're starting the cladding now, so keep an eye. Thanks a lot.